How's it going guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews and this is my review for The Irishman. Now, this is a part of the Robert De Niro week and this is the final movie in that. We will link right here Raging Bull and Goodfellas right there and you guys can go back and watch those and then come back and watch this video or watch this video then watch those videos and then come back and watch this video if you feel you sh you must and i think you should but i gotta tell you i dug this movie i love mobsters i love i love criminals of all sorts I don't love crazy guys that kill innocents or anything like that, but I do love mobsters and like what mobsters had to do and what what creates a mobster. Uh, this movie is a about Frank the Irishman Sheeran, uh, played by Robert Downey Jr., uh, played by Robert De Niro. We have Al Pacino playing the great Jimmy Hoffa. We have Joe Pesci, who is amazing in this movie, playing Russell Boffalino. We have Ray Romano playing Bill Boffalino. We have Harvey Keitel playing Angelo Bruno. Uh, Bobby Cannavale is in this. Uh, Anna Paquin is in this. And I like Anna Paquin's character, Peggy, who is the daughter of um, Robert Downey robert de niro's character and she can tell like who the bad guys are and she becomes really close with jimmy hoffa like really close with jimmy hoffa but she can't stand russell uh joe pesci's character and she really can't stand her dad because she knows what she's doing she knows what her dad's doing and she doesn't agree with any of it really and it, it is it is a great thing to show that character ha has the ability to discern such things, and I like that. Uh, we have Jesse Plemons in this playing uh, Chucky O'Brien, who is Jimmy Hoffa's adopted son, and he's cool in this. He's cool in this. One of the one of the so yes, I know they did a lot of de aging effects because these gentlemen are all in their 60s and 70s but I, I don't care about that aspect i care about are they playing those characters good is it believable and yes it was 100 percent believable all the way through this movie one of the aspects that i really dug about this movie is when you met a new character text would flash and it would be like um uh, it'd be like uh, just out there it'd be uh whispers uh, shot four times in the face or something like that and the date he died. I really dug that. I really, really dug that. And they took some liberties with a couple of things. I do not know anything about these gangsters. Uh, these guys are all brand new to me. Sharon Buffalino. Uh, he is the crime, uh, the crime guy and everything. Uh, but I'm not too uh, knowledgeable on those i actually bought the book i heard you paint houses uh i did actually buy that book and i'm about to listen to it i dug this and i loved jimmy hoffa's play the the the, the role between de niro and pacino and de niro just trying to be like you gotta stop you gotta stop you don't know who you're messing with here you gotta stop and just Hoff was like, no, nah, fuck those guys. Fuck those guys. You know what? Fuck them all. And he's like, I got stories. I got tapes. I got all, all this shit. And you just know it's all about to come crashing down for Jimmy Hoffa. Now, nobody knows how Jimmy Hoffa died except for murder. But this shows that uh, Frank ended up taking out Jimmy Hoffa. And all of Frank's uh, kills in this movie are fucking awesome. Especially when he goes after uh, Tony Pro. And 
like he's talking about it. He's like, oh, you got to bring two guns and they got to be loud because you got to make the uh, the regular the 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 innocents, the bystanders, run away. And you're not gonna shoot the you're not gonna shoot the bodyguard in the chest or the face because you just shoot him in like the arm or the leg because he's you don't have beef with him and then just he just goes after Tony Pro. I dug this movie so much and everything that like leads up to it, uh, him meeting uh, Joe Pesci's character and Joe Pesci doesn't tell him who he is. And, oh, I love this. I really did. I dug this movie. This showed a lot of, um, like, Frank just being that killer and then going off to do other things, getting into the Union and uh, becoming pals with Hoffa and everything else. And I have to say, this cast was great. A lot of surprises of people I was just, like, amazed by. And I dug this. I dug this movie. This was a great great flick if you haven't seen it go check it out on netflix uh if you really want to pick it up it's on the criterion collection you can always go buy it there where does this lie on my five star review scale the story is a four the cinematography is a four the characters are a 4.5 the design is a four which brings our total to 4.25 guys check this movie out have you seen the irishman let me know down in the comments. I sure love to have a conversation with you. Hit that like button. Let's let's try for seven likes on this video. Seven likes, and I'd love you forever. And I will see you in my next review. Bye.